right, so what's going on? You two guys are all dressed up today. What's going to happen? Yeah. EVA number three. EVA number three out of four. Yeah. Uh, we only have two more runs total after this. Only two total. So, and, how, and you got four spacewalks on the whole flight, right? So we're doing our finals now. All right, and so yeah, and you're, you're outside for how many, Mike? Uh, this time three. What do you mean this time? Well, I got six ones in the Russian suit. All right, stop, stop bragging. See, right away he's got it. He throws it in there. Oh. But every question I ask you is going to be like, somehow you're going to work into another question that you want to say. Well, is that what it is? Go ahead. How long is your flight today, Mike? Oh, this, oh, flight? I did this, flight, this flight is 14 days, but I've spent a few Only years in space. Days. Go ahead, Drew. What are you saying now? On Hubble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does he give you a lot of on Hubble stuff? You know, but but I appreciate it for what it's worth. What's that? Nothing. The Hubble. <laughs> really, the Hubble Space Telescope is worth nothing. Okay, so on Hubble, he says, but when I was on space station, for yeah. months, and then another six months after that. <laughs> no, but see, what the really neat thing is is that what you guys did, including Drew on Hubble, is really helping us during this. Oh, by the way, this is this is the serious Mike Finkley. This is the serious Spanky now. Here he's turning. I'm he's turning saying, on the charm. I'm just saying. What's that? I'm just saying. Well, you guys did not just helped out science yeah. and the community, but helped out this particular mission. Yeah. And I've learned a lot from Drew, and I appreciate it. But on, on the flip I'm side, keeping the camera on because I want to see you go like, yeah, right. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> it's true. I got it. On the flip side, yeah. he's learned nothing from me, so there no. you go. <laughs> you know, I've never seen the space station. No, neither right. have I. So I've been out in the soup, but I've never seen the space station. Right. So to have these guys is kind of like having my own personal trainers for you know what happens on space what's it how like the airlock then? works you know how yeah. stuff works so I'm, I'm happy to have does them. it seem complicated yes more complicated than what we did you know like on it with Which this part? <laughs> <laughs> all right hello hi what's going on after you need to get to hello allison what what's going on now oh. you have to like straighten out and get ready to breathe here Tools. no what? i actually don't breathe these are management fingers you're what? These are management fingers. Really? What's that mean? I have don't do anything? who actually do the work. Really? Mm -hmm. These people over here? Yes. All right. So is this just going to be one big party today, or, or is someone going to tell us what's going on? Are you going to get to get to work eventually? We'll eventually get to work. No few All, right. All right. How are these guys doing, by the way? I know they're right here, but you can tell me the truth. They're, pr they're pretty good. I mean, they're really? high maintenance. Don't say that because they're going to get a big head. Oh. Say something while, like, while they're listening. Say something bad. Oh. Say like a mistake they made. Drew's or a prima donna. He's got he the is? Whole Hubble thing that's going. not bad. Yes, that's right. He should be. He's a prima donna. So they're doing good, though, aren't they? They are. They're yeah, you ain't got any trouble with these guys. All right. What's your theme song there, Mike? What is that? It's by Europe. Why is that your theme song? We don't know. Why is that? I, I just, it's just one of those. Uh, we thought it was the final is it, countdown. Is that final countdown for. 135 came along. <laughs> oh, you do, but it's a, war, a final countdown for your uh, yeah, endeavor, real, right? The real, the real song is the Yellow Submarine. The Yellow sure Submarine? <laughs> Why is that? Why is that? <laughs> Why do you have the Yellow Submarine? <laughs> You're the one who picked that. I did. I don't remember why. I like the Beatles, but I don't remember why. How many space walks have you done total in space? I, I, I've worked uh, closely with our international partners, the Russians, and had six in the Orlon suit. Six in the Orlon? And it's a different suit. Oh, so when you said you early told me it's six, that's just six in the Orlon. Yeah, just six in the Orlon. Okay, it's a completely, it's a Russian space suit. It's a very Russian space suit. How long were those spacewalks? Are they typically uh, the they're, same? They're roughly about five hours. About five hours. And that's a different suit, meaning what's the differences here for you? The main thing is uh, the American suit is called the extravehicular mobility unit. So the American suit right. is actually a lot more mobile. The big white suit. The big white suit. That you're going to get into here. There's your pants. It runs at a lower pressure. Uh, the internal pressure is about four pounds. Per square inch. Right. The Russian suit is about six pounds per square inch. Okay. So you can't move, move as well. So it's harder to move that Russian suit. But the, the pre breathe, the, you know, all the things we watch out for barrow trauma and, and the bends, and the Russian suit are a lot easier because that, that way, higher pressure. Higher pressure you're, you've got easier for you to do the pre breathe and get ready, but harder for you to move it because you've got a higher pressure in your e suit. Exactly. So each right. suit has their strengths and weaknesses, and I'm lucky and fortunate to have a chance to run in both. That's pretty cool. You got to get him ready now? Yeah. Trying to put his pants on? Pants on the pole. Thank you. Now, you tried to do a, a spacewalk in one of these, right, Mike, yeah, when you were on the space station? That's exactly it. And what happened? Well, the cooling, the, the Columbia, after Columbia, the shuttle wasn't flying. Right. So we didn't have a chance and you were in to space the then, suits. weren't you? Uh, thanks to the Russians. Uh, Russian right, you went partners. up on a Soyuz. And uh, were you supposed to go up on a shuttle initially, or yes, you were really. 
And then you got switched over to the Soyuz. Yes. That's interesting. Okay. They used to speak Russian sometimes. All right. So uh, it turns out the American suits had been in space for a long time, and uh, they got uh, some contamination on the inside. Now you're telling the story while you're putting your pants well, on, which is you're I'm doing two things at once. I'm impressed. So we got some contamination. Some uh, the water got contaminated. Right. So we couldn't. Uh, so we couldn't uh, uh, run the suits because the cooling system wasn't working. Right. So uh, we went to our international partners and Russians, and they uh, they said, "Okay, you can use our suits." So we so, went up, did an so American that BBA you, in, in a Russian wow. suit. That must have been challenging, I would think. Huh? It was the first. Were you, were you able to do everything? Or? Yeah, yeah. Because we were, we weren't doing something that was super difficult, like you would do on a Hubble mission or one of the assembly missions. But it was an important, critical task to fix. Uh, uh, power uh, junction box that was broken. Okay. It's a lot of fun. All right, cool. All right, well, thanks, Mike. Hey, I don't know how you do it, Mikey. You're kind of <laughs> tall. I, I, I make him put the suit up really high. Okay. So can I email to somebody? Or? Still there, Mike? How you doing? Piece of cake. 